Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to show you the absolute fastest way to make a dynamic Excel pie chart uh, that it only takes four steps and we should be able to get it done in under four minutes. Let me show you how it works. Um, so what we have here is we have a pie chart and this is dynamic to this table over here. You see if I come in and I type in April and I do 25, 50, 100, and 200, notice my pie chart updates automatically as does my title to the last row of our table. Let me show you how to do it. We've only got four minutes so let's get to it. First thing is you want to have your data set up in a table fashion like this where your next row um, is going to be uh, the next set of data that you use so that we can use the dynamic features of Excel tables. Also, let's go ahead and copy out our data labels for our pie chart. I'm going to do control C and come over here and just paste those. Uh, next, I want to highlight my table. Um, and actually make it a dynamic table, that Excel feature uh, that came, I think in 2007, maybe 2010, but let's go up to our insert ribbon after highlighting the range, go to our table. Notice it says Control T will also do the same thing. It brings up our range, we have headers, click on OK. You can see not much has changed, but it is now a dynamic table that will continue to add uh, and be part of the range as we create our dynamic pie chart. All right, next thing, we want to create our formula for our month. We want to find the last month of this column. Let's go ahead and do equals index. And index returns a value at a set of coordinates in a range. Um, we are going to make our range that we want to return the column of months. And I'm going to hit comma, and I'm going to do a count because we need to give it uh, how many rows are in here to tell it which row to get. And so we're going to do a count of all of these rows. And since that equals three right now, um, it will return to the third row of that column. Hit enter and uh, boom, it has put in March. Now let's go ahead and do our values for our pie chart. I'm going to do equals and I'm going to type in index, that same formula. Now instead of month, I want to return the org value. So I'm going to come over to the org column and highlight that. And I'm going to do a comma and do a count A and hit tab. And once again, we want to um, highlight this column here, but we're going to do one trick to make this easy to copy this formula across and get all of our formulas done at once. We're going to highlight this table range for month. I'm going to drag over one more to the right. And you'll notice that uh, up here above it is done month and org. I just need to change the second reference of columns from org back to month. You can see it also puts it right there. I can double click on it. It has put month in there. I can end my parentheses, hit enter, and you notice three is the value of the last row in org. Now I need to come over to this little handle and that's important and copy across. And you can see that uh, I've got 243, which is our next value, 63, and then one. Now we just need to go create our pie chart. Let's highlight our data here with our labels and data. Go up to our insert ribbon, go to our pie chart, and create a 2D pie chart. Let's move it up here so that you can see it. Um, now uh, the only thing we need to do is click on the title, hit our equal sign, and we want to click on I3 for that dynamic month that's always going to show up. Hit enter and there's March. So now we have our pie chart done. You can add labels or do other things that you'd like to it. Um, but let's go ahead and show you the dynamic nature of it. So I type in April. Let's do 25, 50, 100, and 200. And my pie chart automatically is calculating over here on the right um, by these very simple formulas. We're under four minutes. Okay, so it is that easy. We had four easy steps. First, you gotta create your table as a dynamic table in Excel. Next, you wanna create your data range for your chart. And using a combination of index and count, you can quickly come up with the very last row of data um, that highlights over here. And that's what you create your pie chart on. And then uh, after inserting your pie chart, finally, you just want to update your title if that's something that's important to you. I want to thank our good buddy Pete over at the Excel dashboardtemplates.com blog. He gave me this uh, great technique after looking at an old blog post. 
that I had done where I used a combination of offset and some other formulas to come up with this data. It took a lot longer than this, was not four easy steps, and took more than four minutes. Uh, so Pete, I want to say thanks. Uh, if you like this post, please make sure you subscribe to my video channel so you get the next one delivered directly to your inbox. Also, head on over to the blog where you can learn lots of other techniques like this to make your dashboard stand out. Thank you.